Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I want to talk about MIDI, M-I-D-I, which is an acronym, and it stands for Music Instrument Digital Interface. And I've also heard it with the eyes interchanged, Music Interface for Digital Instruments, which makes more sense to me, but it is Music Instrument Digital Interface. And what that is, it's a few things. And one of the main things is it's a protocol for how to communicate between different MIDI devices, which includes your computer. And it also is a design spec for the type of connections that are used. So if we take a MIDI cable, it's a five pin DIN that looks like this. There's a MIDI in and there's a MIDI out. So you can see the five pins there on each one. It's a round connection. And at the other end of this cable is a USB connection. So you can plug this into your USB port on your computer and you've got a USB in and out. This particular adapter cable is made by EMU, E-MU. And basically a lot of keyboards today, like this particular one by Casio, has MIDI in and out. And you just hook these MIDI in and out five pin DINs to the corresponding MIDI in and out, the other to, to your computer. Now you're controlling any kind of virtual piano or virtual instrument or any other thing like that. You can actually plug this into another MIDI device and control that as well. It can be another keyboard, another piano. In my case, like the Nord Stage 2 has a excellent Fazioli piano and if I wanted to play that with just the keyboard on this because the keyboard on this feels better to me I can do that okay so you take standard MIDI cables I'm going to hit the hook the uh, MIDI out to the MIDI in of that other device and play it now MIDI has nothing to do with sounds at all. There's no sounds involved with MIDI. What it is, it's a protocol that defines what keys you've been pressing. Like, let's say I'm playing this. Simple, right? Now, all MIDI does is record what keys I've hit how hard I've hit them, the harder I hit them, the louder they sound, how long I'm holding on to those keys or having them depressed when I lift them up, volume, panning, like from left to right, and things like I've got a bender and a modulation wheel on here. That's all part of MIDI, including the pedal that I have my foot on. There's up to three pedals, a soft pedal, a sostenuto pedal, and so on. But it records all that information. So basically, if you remember the old player pianos where you could take this paper thing that had a bunch of holes in it and plug it into a player piano and all of a sudden it would play and the keys would move and all that stuff. Well, a modern day MIDI recorder is the modern version of that. Instead of having the holes on paper, you're basically recording the keystrokes that you're doing here. So when you're recording keystrokes and you actually play back those keystrokes, you can play that back on any MIDI instrument or computer. Okay, now, for those of you who, you know, you walk into a store and you're looking at a keyboard and you say, does it have MIDI? And you don't even know why you want it. You just figure you have to have it because you've heard of it. Well, you may not need it. And here's the deal. For those of you that grew up playing a piano, whether it was a concert grand or a baby grand or an upright piano or a console piano, whatever it is, just an acoustic piano, whatever you played, that's what you heard. And if you're looking for a modern day digital version of that because you don't want something that big and that heavy, and you don't want to have two or three people to move it, when you want to move it to another room and you don't want to have to tune it every six months. So a digital piano serves you well. Do you need MIDI? Well, the question is, are you going to just play it and 
whatever you play and whatever you hear, that's all you want. If that's the case, and you just want a digital version of an acoustic piano, no, you don't need MIDI. But here's another thing about MIDI. If you're going to record yourself, now you remember the days you're recording something onto a tape or reel-to-reel -reel or cassette, tape recorder basically and the modern day version is like an mp3 recorder or a digital recorder whatever actually even if you take a cell phone and you're making a video of you playing the piano you're still making a video of you recording your performance on whatever it is that you're playing so when you're doing that basically what you play is what you get if you make a mistake when you play it back, that mistake is going to be there. And if you do the same thing with MIDI, if you're just recording the keystrokes that you're playing, no sound, just the keystrokes, I mean, naturally, you're hearing what you're playing because while you're playing it, you're going to hear it. But you're recording not what you're hearing, but rather MIDI, the keys that you're pressing, how long you're holding the keys, the pedals, if you have a sustain pedal, press down with your foot. Actually, even the bender and modulation wheels that a lot of these digital pianos have. The panning, left and right balance, that kind of thing. That's all stored as MIDI information. So that when you go back and play the MIDI file that you recorded, you can play that back on another MIDI device so if I'm recording it on this Casio and I play it back on a Nord Stage 2 with the Fazioli piano, it's going to sound completely different, but it's going to be the same performance because it's the same keys that I'm hitting. Now, an advantage of recording with MIDI over audio, let's go back to the tape recorder type of thing. When you're recording an audio performance, whether it's through a microphone or through the line outs or whatever, you're recording whatever it is you're playing. And if you make a wrong note, you strike the wrong key or whatever, that's part of the recording. And you can't change that. Well, there's ways of doing that with punch in and punch out, but it's not the same. Basically, you're either going to get the recording right from the first time or you're going to do like 80 takes till you get it right. And it's a lot of work. But if you do the same recording with MIDI, if you make a mistake, you can go into a MIDI editor and let's say you're playing a C chord, but you hit a, a C sharp in, on the top note instead of a C sounds awful you can go into a MIDI editor and take that MIDI C sharp and change it back to a C it's real easy so if you're doing the perfect recording everything is going perfectly well except for one minor note that you screwed up you can fix that if you recorded it in MIDI so let me show you a MIDI recorder over here right here this is a sequencer program that I'm using, also known as a DAW, D-A-W, Digital Audio Workstation. Now, if you look over here, this is a Casio Privia PX5S. So, on this first track right here, I'm just recording the audio, and you can see what I just played. This is the waveform. The same thing in MIDI on track two, just records what keys I'm playing. So, if you look here, See how the keys over here, the MIDI information, it's just the notes. So that kind of makes it easier if you understand when you go to a MIDI editor, you just take that note and move it to the right one. So that is the short form of the explanation. And again, this is not meant to be technical. We can get really into the depths of MIDI, but this is just to give you a general understanding about what MIDI is all about and what you can do with it. Now, there's a lot of uh, software out there that are virtual pianos or whatever instrument that it is that's running on your computer, 
But you can't play it on your computer. I mean, you can't perform it on your computer. You need something like a keyboard to perform it on. So as long as the keyboard has MIDI capability, you can hook it up to your computer and play that virtual instrument. And a lot of these MIDI keyboards now are also, the, the more modern versions are also coming up with MIDI over USB, where you don't even need the standard MIDI in and out five pin DIN jacks anymore. You just hook up the USB cable into your Windows or Mac computer and it will understand because you're transmitting and receiving MIDI over USB MIDI. But you take a keyboard, say like the Yamaha P105, which only has the MIDI over USB and if you want to communicate with another device and all standard MIDI devices have that five pin DIN that I was talking about. You can't do it unless you buy an adapter cable to give you the standard MIDI in and out jacks. And that adapter cable is around $100 on that Yamaha P105. So that's something else you might want to think about. It's best to get a keyboard that has the standard in and out MIDI jacks. And a lot of the keyboards today Whatever you're playing, it will record that performance, but what it does internally is it records MIDI information. It records what keys you're hitting, how hard you're hitting them, how long you're holding it down, the pedal that's being held down at the time you're playing certain notes, the modulation and bender wheels, the panning from left to right, and a bunch of other information. That's called CC controller, continuous controller information. Now, MIDI gets a lot more technical than that, and I don't want to get into that right now, but I just wanted to give you a basic introduction to MIDI for those who had no clue what MIDI is whatsoever. Hopefully, this will have enlightened you just a little bit as to what MIDI is all about. We can get a little more involved, more technical details in a future video about MIDI, but for now, hopefully, this has answered your questions about MIDI. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.